everybody, this is Alyssa from fitalyssa.com. I want you to guys to know something really important about making up a fitness competitor that happened to me today. I'm out hiking with my uh, good friend Jamie, who is another fitness competitor, and I have diabetes, as everybody knows, type 1 insulin dependent. I'm on a very, very strict diet with an insulin to carb ratio for both exercise and non-exercise. Today, before going into our, what was it, a five mile hike upstairs, is that right? Six. Six mile hike upstairs, which is probably the hardest hike you can do straight up a mountain. Jamie and I try to do this every so often for the best cardio we can get, these stair climb. And today we did it, and I already trained an hour this morning, and I needed a lot of cardio leading up to losing weight and getting into shape. So halfway, I did the whole mountain down the hill and my blood sugar was fine. I gave a half a unit of insulin today before I eat. My blood sugar was probably about 200 going into the hike. I wanted it a little bit higher. So I only gave myself a half a unit of insulin thinking that I would be okay for my hike. So my CGM is in my phone. I have the Dexcom 5 and that is a saving grace. For those of you who do not have Dexcom, it took me a very, very, very long time to go on it. And I have to tell you, it's like as if I don't have diabetes, it saves me. So I went all the way down the mountain and I, it's a stair mountain. And as I was going down, I was monitoring the blood sugar and it said it was falling. And it was 171 halfway down with two hours down. So I made sure I kept checking my blood sugar on my phone the whole time. When I got to the bottom of the mountain, it, my blood sugar was 110. And I was okay with where it was and the arrow was consistently to the right. I thought, okay, I don't need a treat. Now I want everybody to know that I always, always, no matter what, on my strict diet, travel with my glucose. And you can't go anywhere without glucose, no matter what you do. I am on a really strict diet, and I'm not supposed to have glucose in my diet. But the one thing I have to emphasize is, if your health is at risk, your life is at risk, you have to, have to take glucose. No matter what you do, no matter what competition is, no competition is worth your health. Halfway up the mountain, my blood sugar dropped. I looked at my phone and it said it was 64. I did not want to treat my blood sugar and my I was being stubborn. I was like, I can make it up the mountain and my girlfriend Jamie was a saving grace. She said to me, Alyssa, we've got another three, four miles up the mountain. You have got to treat your blood sugar. So what did I do? I pulled out sugar, put it in, had 15 grams of my glucose and I started going up about another mile and I felt like I couldn't make it up the mountain. So I stopped and then I decided, do I need to take more sugar or not? I looked at my Dexcom CGM and I saw I was consistently just under 70. Well, I know that's something that you need to treat, but because I've had my glucose and it goes in right away, I felt that it was best for me to try to not put too much sugar in and get up the mountain and eat my next meal. Dexcom saved me. I stayed with my arrow to the right the entire time. My blood sugar is still the same and I am now at the top of the mountain and getting ready to eat. However, I would and did treat my blood sugar. So part of what you have to do as a fitness competitor living with diabetes is you have to know what you're eating and you have to make sure you're well fed, well hydrated, and you travel with glucose at all time. Do not be afraid to treat your glucose. Do not be afraid to eat food. No matter what I do, I'm still going to compete. I'm still following protocol, but my diabetes takes precedent over everything. And so today I was able to do a six mile stair climb hike up a mountain with low blood sugar and treating low blood sugar by having a Dexcom CGM. So thanks everybody for following my little journey with me. I continue to help share other tips and advice. I'm going to be having a YouTube channel that I'll mainstreaming into fitalista.com and I look forward to blogging and having you part of this journey with me. Thanks everybody.